So today's the day. We're starting to make our capsule wardrobe for spring. I anticipate this being a pretty messy and unorganized process because I've never done this before. But hopefully I'll find a, a neat way to showcase my results. So let's go ahead and go to the closet because I wanted to start by literally shopping my closet for clothes to wear this spring. All right, so we're in my closet now and we're gonna start the process of getting my spring capsule wardrobe by shopping my closet. So I'm literally going to go through and treat it as if I were in a shop and grab the items that I'd be interested in styling and purchasing if I were shopping. Let's get started. All right, so I've got my pile of stuff that initially caught my eye. Let's see how much of each item we have and where to go next. Okay, so I count 11 tops, six pairs of pants, four skirts, and four sweater type layers. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Is that a 33 piece capsule? Is this going to be easier than I thought? Could I be doing project 333? Okay, let's add this sweater. So now we have 34. So these are the piles that I've ended up with. I know this is such a glamorous way to showcase the clothes that I've chosen. Ignore the sweatpants. So we got sweaters, skirts, tops, and pants. Hi everyone. Now we've reached the time where I'm going to talk through the pieces in my spring capsule wardrobe. So I have 41 total pieces of clothing. Now I have some caveats because my lifestyle kind of has distinctive compartments and I only did this capsule for work wear. So like my home wear, my active wear, um, I actually didn't even include shoes and bags in this or accessories in general in this first iteration of capsule wardrobing just because it was so hard for me to even want to do this in the first place to limit uh, the clothes that I could use for the season of spring. So I started out gently and at first I thought it was going to be easy because I got to about 33 pieces and thought wow this is already a lot of clothes but then there were so many other pieces that I thought I don't want to not be able to wear these so I'm just going to go ahead and add them to this spring capsule. So I ended up with 41 pieces and what I did was that I actually added only my spring capsule to the index app. So you probably can't see that, but um, there's a new wardrobe app in town called Index. And while I've been using Smart Closet for a while now, I just started Index and have only put the 41 pieces of clothing in my spring capsule in here so that I can try to track them in the calendar and see, you know, general cost per wear for one season and putting together outfits and things like that. Um, the app is not perfect. I don't totally love all of the interface, but that's not the, <laughs> the main point of this video. This video is to talk through the story of each of my spring pieces of clothing. And I'm so sorry I'm not gonna be trying them on in this video because otherwise it would probably be hours and hours long. But I'm just gonna talk through approximately when I got the item, why I got it, and maybe why I like it. So I'm gonna start with jackets because they're on hangers and I didn't wanna remove everything from the hanger. So the first piece is this blazer from Theory. It's a lavender, a dusty lavender, which pastel colors don't normally work that well on me, but I think the fact that it's so muted and dusty and cool means that I like how it looks on me. This is kind of a classic style blazer. So it's oversized, but it's also kind of fitted in, in the middle section, the waist, but not nipped in like the trend of this spring, I guess. So it's not trendy, but it's pretty classic. It also comes with lavender trousers, which I also included in this spring capsule. So these are the lavender trousers. They're just like a cigarette pant style. A little pleat in the front. I have noticed actually that these, they're made out of wool and both of these pieces have tiny, tiny moth holes or what looks like moth holes on little parts of them. Now I'm hopefully never gonna get rid of this blazer and these pants. I got them in, I think 2020 when I started my one year as a high school teacher because the dress code in the contract was quite formal, like collared shirts, 
um, were mandatory, no jeans, stuff like that. So I elevated my wardrobe and then found out that a lot of teachers <laughs> don't really abide by the dress code. But anyway, I would rather be overdressed than underdressed any day. So I debated <laughs> and drove my husband insane by talking about which blazer I should get. And I was looking at either this lavender one or there was a camel colored one from Aritzia that I thought would go with everything. Maybe it would be the more classic option, but I'm really glad that I opted for the lavender suit from Theory as it's lasted in my wardrobe. Funny story, I did actually end up getting a camel colored blazer from Aritzia on heavy sale. It was really discounted and I didn't like it at all. I resold it. The color just was off. The fit was off. Um, so anyway, I'm glad I bought this one when I did. Yeah, we just gotta learn how to protect it from the moths a little better. I also don't know when the moth damage happened. I think it might have been while we still lived in Texas. Hopefully we'll be okay here in the Midwest. The next piece I have is a kind of camel colored blazer. So I actually wouldn't call this camel so much as like a muted kind of beige or khaki. I guess the website calls this an oatmeal or oat blazer. And I guess it kind of checks out. It's a little bit gray tinged. This is a Jerf Avenue blazer. And uh, it also comes as a suit set. I'm wearing the pants right now, which are also part of the spring capsule. So I did a couple of suits. So obviously I still felt the whole of a kind of neutral grayish, whatever you would call this color blazer in my wardrobe. And I discovered the brand Jerf Avenue um, I think the first order I made was after we moved to the Midwest. So it would have been 2021 or 2022. Um, so I guess just about two years ago, but I have accumulated a rather large collection of their pieces because they fit me really well. I think it's because they're a Scandinavian brand and therefore kind of made with a tall, lean body type in mind, which is me. Um, so the sleeves are long enough, the lengths are long enough, which I really appreciate. Their pants come in a tall that's actually tall. So I'm glad to have found that brand, even though it was trendy at the time. But uh, I plan to keep the pieces that I have from this brand for a lifetime, if I can make them last. I also have this in gray, the dark gray, but I decided to not include that one in this capsule because it's a darker color and maybe more suitable for fall winter. I might miss it though. I have kind of kept it out because I have a suspicion that I might want to wear it. And I'm not, I'm, I'm going to try to do this capsule wardrobe thing, but I'm also making notes on the pieces I miss and how the process actually goes as well. That's just part of it. Okay, so the next pieces are this leather vest. I actually don't wear this very often, so this is kind of a challenge piece. Maybe I can layer it over some t-shirts or I don't know, wear it on its own, maybe not to work. I do really love it in theory. I just haven't worn it very much. I got it secondhand. It said it was made in Uruguay um, and it's genuine leather. Next piece is this jacket from Cezanne. I love the idea of this jacket. I had it in denim. This is the Will jacket. It's like a chore jacket. So it's like a straight fit, deep pockets. This one's a suede. So it's, it's really rather beautiful actually. And, um, it's kind of already got a weathered look from kind of spilling various things on it and trying to clean it. But I mean, it makes it just look more loved. And I, I really need to wear this. I love this piece so much, but I just don't wear it very often. Um, I think it's kind of a in-between piece where it kind of has to be a little cool to wear it. You can't really keep it on inside. I mean, maybe you could, but the nature of my work is playing the viola. So it's kind of bulky to be wearing while I'm moving around. And um, I don't know, I'm gonna really try to style this more, wear this more this season, because I really think it's a beautiful piece and I don't want to declutter it, but it needs to be worn. Okay, going on to some shirts that I do keep hanging. This is another piece from Cezanne. I had a phase where I bought a lot of pieces from Cezanne, kind of most of it was during my teaching because they're kind of elevated pieces, but they're also very feminine. So I've kind of gravitated away from Cezanne, but I still love some of the pieces that I have. So this is a sage green Chloe shirt with the ruffles. Um, and I will be doing a video later where, where I hopefully show some outfits. Hopefully we'll do a video. So this is the Chloe shirt in sage. And I just remember so vividly when I saw that they came out with this green color, I thought, Wow, that's so beautiful. I really, really want that. Have to have it. 
and so I bought it. That's how I used to buy things back in the day, kind of impulsively. And I do really like the green color. And this is, I think, the only green piece in my wardrobe because it's not one of my usual colors. So I think I'm gonna, again, I need to style it more. I need to wear it more. Um, it's the default St. Patrick's Day green shirt or whenever I need something green. And I just really like how the material, it's a silk shirt. It just moves so beautifully, drapes beautifully, looks elevated and elegant. Maybe a little feminine for my current style, but I think I can still make it fit in. The next two pieces are Jerf Avenue shirts. They're the breezy shirt. They're both in a size large because I want them oversized. I like them oversized. This is the blue stripe. The shorts on the hanger are not part of this capsule, but I just keep them together because it's a set. And then likewise, I have the shorts for the rainbow breezy as well. So these two are, this one is actually kind of an honorary part of this capsule. I'm not sure if it's included in the final number 41, but uh, this piece is a staple in my wardrobe in general, kind of all seasons. I layer it, I wear it over tank tops and tube tops during the summer. I just really like how this one looks. It's so classic. I really love how these shirts have the little, like, like the split, split back. Really like how that makes the shirt move. And then the pastel one, I think, suits me a little bit less. I talked about that in another video, I think. I think the coloring is not exactly optimal for me with the low contrast, but it's just so springy and fun. So I, and like I said, the Jerf Avenue shirts fit me really well. The sleeves are not too short. The Cezanne shirts kind of have a cropped sleeve on me. This is actually a Cezanne shirt that I'm wearing right now. And the sleeve is a little bit, you know, it's a three quarter length, which I'm not, I don't recall if that was intentional for this style or not. But uh, the Jeff Avenue ones don't have that problem. They're long enough. The waistline is long enough. So I don't think it's a wise move for me to get rid of them. Um, and they're also not cheap shirts. They're like $100 approximately. So I want to make them last and get a lot of use out of them. Then I have a classic white shirt from Power of My People. It's just basically a white, white button up. As you can see, I like the Oxford button up style. So I have three of those shirts and then that says on blouse for a more flowy feminine option. The last hanging item I have is actually a skirt. So it's this uh, Jerf Avenue again, blue midi skirt. And this ice blue color goes with a lot of my tops and I just need to wear this more over the spring. So really love that. It's also a set, but the top is not part of this because it's a little too formal and a little fussy to wear since I need to layer under it or you know figure out the bra situation so there's no straps showing. So top is not part of this, but the skirt I would love to style and wear this spring season. Okay, so this top is part of the capsule as well. It's also Cezanne. It's, I think it's the, I wanna say Colette Marinier. It's like the Britain striped top. It's a cotton shirt, three quarter sleeves, some buttons on the sides. I cannot do buttons up here because again, the nature of my job is to have an instrument on my shoulders. So I can't have embellishments up here and I can't wear big necklaces or long earrings, but I can have some embellishments <laughs> on tops like that. So um, I'm not totally sold on how horizontal stripes look on me, but I do like this shirt and I think I'm gonna keep it just so I have one striped option, which will stop me from buying other striped clothes. Cause I can tell myself I already have one. Um, the Jerf Avenue pants that go with the suit. These are the favorite pants. Um, like I said, they're actually long when I'm sitting down. They actually don't, they don't ride all the way up my leg, which is a tall girl problem. And I think they just look really chic, if I might say so myself. And the wide leg is just really comfy and easy to wear. I have two more jackets. These ones are more outerwear, so I'll get those out of the way. And then we'll go on to pants. So first jacket is this denim cream number. I think it's really good for spring uh, from Jerf Avenue. So it's like an oversized denim jacket. So I really, really like that. It's kind of gives me the uh, laid back cool girl vibes. And the other jacket is a flight jacket that my husband has from his army days. So he has one in his size large and then he has a size small as well. So I have the size small here, still a little oversized on me. It's just this kind of khaki green and it's a little warmer than the denim jacket. But I think it's likewise got that kind of cool girl, relaxed bomber jacket style, aviator jacket style. So, um, and this one was free to me. So, and it has my husband's patch on it. So I kind of like that as well. 
So those are my pieces of outerwear for the spring. And now on to the rest of the pants. I have these Levi's jeans. These are men's jeans, so uh, that I could get them long enough. And also kind of in the relaxed, loose style. That was really, really popular last year. These are the men's 501s. Got these off of Mercari um, in a light wash. I have them in a medium dark wash as well, but I think those might be on the chopping block to be decluttered because I just don't really love that wash. And they might be a candidate for being replaced if I end up getting the Tibby Sid jeans, which are on my wish list. Um, the egregiously expensive and unique Tibby Sid jeans. So I already kind of have a pair of jeans that I might let go to replace those if I buy them. So jeans number one. The other jean type pants that I have in this capsule are, again, Jerf Avenue, the relaxed jeans. I wanted to get these in blue, but then I found the Levi's as a much more affordable dupe because I think these are like $130 pants and the Levi's I got for maybe $20. So much more reasonable and very similar fit. So, but I couldn't find men's <laughs> jeans in this cream color. So I did go ahead and get the Jerf Avenue version and I do really like them. So they're very similar to those Levi's. I wouldn't be surprised if they modeled these off of those men's 501s, I don't know. Um, but the cream color again kind of matches the denim jacket, gives spring vibes and still goes with pretty much everything. And then I have another pair of Jerf Avenue pants. <laughs> See, I told you I'd accumulated quite a collection of their clothing. And these ones are actually very, very long. So their normal jeans are just the right length for me. These ones I have to fold up at the cuffs because they have like a 37 inch inseam or something crazy like that. And I'm good with like maybe 34, 35. So I fold these ones up once, but I like that look too. These are more utility pants. So they're kind of almost cargo style, but they don't have the cargo pockets and they're made out of like a denim, brown denim material. I actually really love how these look with the oat blazer. It kind of makes like a mismatched suit. And these, I feel like kind of toughen up the polished look of the suit. So it's not just too stuffy business wear-ish. I have some leather pants. These are the Aritzia Molinas. Um, I'd seen these floating around, right? Cause they're trending for quite a long time. And I had them in a brown that were like two sizes too big. So I used one of those button things, you know, to make the pants smaller so that they would fit. I got them on major, major sale and I didn't know exactly what size I needed. So I tried the brown, didn't work out long-term obviously. And then these were also on major sale. So I think they were like 40 something dollars. And so I went ahead and got them in this black towards the end of last year. I actually had some black faux leather pants when I was teaching during that year of 2020. And I wore them quite a lot actually. Um, so I know that I can pair these with a lot in my wardrobe, wear them a lot. I was so stupid to declutter those back in the day. I don't know why I did it, but uh, <laughs> I've since rebought some black faux leather pants. So I'm really gonna try to declutter more slowly and mindfully going forward. I might hang on to the pieces in storage for a few months or a little longer just to make sure that I don't do things like this again and declutter. The ones I had were purchased secondhand and they were from the brand Express. So I do think these are a little bit nicer and I resold them when I decluttered them. But still, I don't want to be doing that. And going forward, I want to keep the clothes that I like and not make stupid mistakes. And then the last pair of pants are these cobalt blue uh, wide leg trousers from Banana Republic. So this is a color that I really, really love and I have a bunch of tops in this color, which you'll see coming up. So I actually bought these after I saw a video from Hannah Louise Poston. And she uh, was talking about buying, or she bought an outfit that was inspired off of Pinterest with Tibby trousers and a Tibby sweater. So I actually was looking for trousers similar to those Tibby ones, but I uh, was not in the market for red trousers and I'm, I'm just not, that's not one of my colors. So I found these in blue and I already had that bright blue Baba sweater um, that she also then later got. I think I had it before I saw it on her though. So for once I was not influenced, but I bought these kind of inspired by her and that video as a kind of dupe for the Tibby wide-legged trousers. And I actually also found a Tibby sweater 
like the one in that video in a in a pastel green I did end up selling that piece because pastel colors and me are just not the best match um, but yeah sorry of being influenced but these pants are here to stay really really love those I'm gonna go through skirts next because they were still in the category of bottoms and then we'll go to tops where you'll see some of the cobalt blue that matches those pants so I have two mini skirts They're both Jerf Avenue surprise surprise but again, they make a mini that's not too short for a tall girl. So this is the brown knit mini and I have the matching cardigan in this capsule as well. Really love it as a matching outfit and this is just so comfortable. I have the cream denim mini, which matches the jacket. And again, really versatile. And it's long enough that I think I can wear it to work if I dress up the top, you know, maybe wear that blazer. And I have two long denim skirts. These are kind of styling experiments. As you can see, I still have the tag on this one. So I have this Reformation Cass skirt. And it's just the classic blue denim. And I have this black denim. So I also already have styled this one a few times. It's got a slit in the front. The blue one has a slit in the back and I really like the look of this one. So I've got this in my capsule instead of my black denim straight leg jeans. So looking forward to wearing these out to work. The blue one I haven't gotten to wear yet. I got both of these in the sale at the end of last year after thinking about long denim skirts for like all of the year before that and kind of being on the love hate train with them. If you can't beat them, join them, right? I kept on seeing it and really wanted to try it for myself. And I think I spent a long enough time looking at the trend that I at least, it's not just a whimsical try it trend purchase. Like I, like I said, I really like the black one and we'll see about that light denim one. I'm not as sure about that one, but putting it in my spring capsule, I hope to style it and we'll really see how I feel. I have some outfit ideas in mind already. Okay, let's keep it moving so we're not here all day. Let's go with the tops next. Some Jerf Avenue tank tops. This goes really well under the cocoa cardigan with the skirt and then a white one just for layering. Again, the thick cotton is just really forgiving and it covers things up without having to do too much else. This is one of my cobalt blue options that I can wear with these pants and maybe have like the white button down over it. So really loving that. This is from Aritzia. I haven't gotten to wear this a lot yet because I got it kind of more recently and then I had another baby, so it didn't fit. So I'm excited to try to style that. This is probably the oldest piece in this capsule. I've had this, I want to say since high school, actually. Um, and I'm 31 now, so what is that? Like 15 years or something? Um, and it's a turtleneck. I got it secondhand. The brand is Kenneth Cole. It's just a turtleneck t-shirt. So I, I think this could be really good for layering, maybe under some t-shirts or sweaters. This was a birthday present. The Realization Par Zodiac tee. It says Aquarius. And I finally pulled the trigger and got it after seeing it for years and <laughs> trending um, because now I have two kids that are also Aquarius like me. So it felt kind of special to get it this year. Let's see, I have more t-shirts. I like to wear t-shirts a lot. It's kind of my style, I guess, like a mix of casual and polished. So I have this graphic tee, which says Cutlass on it because my husband has an Oldsmobile Cutlass car. So it's got a bunch of cars on the back. It's just like a dark blue or mid blue t-shirt. I think I got that off eBay. I have a plain white t-shirt from Koss. I just saw someone on TikTok say that this was their Holy Grail white t-shirt, so I bought it to try it, and it is really thick and soft, so it's an upgrade from the last one I had, which was just from Abercrombie, and it was kind of thin and flimsy, so happy to have that. Determined to wear it and not be scared of ruining it, or, you know, sometimes I don't wear things because I want to keep them nice, but then what's the point of having them, right? This is a graphic tee from ZZ Top. We went to that concert last year in April and I've loved wearing this shirt ever since. So I think it goes really well with the pants I have on today actually, the colors. Um, and it, when I wear the full suit, I really like to have a graphic tee, again, to kind of casualize the outfit, make it more cool. Another graphic tee from Abercrombie. This one's a Van Gogh art. I like to have that little personal touch in my t-shirts that kind of express something about things that I like. I think everybody does, right? That's why graphic tees are a thing. This one was a more recent purchase and I actually had some issues with this. I ordered it from Urban Outfitters and they sent me something that was incorrect. So I had to reorder it and it was just kind of a mess. And I think I actually got myself banned from Urban Outfitters. <laughs> I tried to order something else like last year and it wouldn't go through. Like the transaction failed multiple times and I googled and I was like, 
I guess you can get banned if you have issues with returns or whatever. Um, but I am not a frequent Urban Outfitters shopper, so I don't really know what happened there. Um, but whatever, I don't need to shop from there anyway. Um, this is a graphic tee that says John Denver, um, Take Me Home Country Roads. And at the time that I bought this, I was learning, I was having guitar lessons, and I had just learned that song. It kind of spoke to me at the time, and I'm kind of on the fence about the shirt now. So I'm just going to style it. It's a really oversized shirt, and I like the colors. Um, but I need to style it to see if it's going to stay in my wardrobe or if it was just a stupid impulse purchase. Here's a cobalt blue graphic tee. I got this essentially for free on Everlane. I logged in once or I clicked on a link from a YouTube video or something and was taken to my account and I was told that I had $50 of credit. And I don't know how, but it let me use it and check out without having any, like I didn't have to pay anything uh, for the items in my cart. So I was like, well, okay, why not? So I bought this and I bought one other cobalt blue muscle tee. So without sleeves, that one is not in this capsule, but I did put the regular t-shirt in here. Cause again, I thought I could wear this with the pants and go to work like that and have kind of like a cool monochrome artistic outfit. So I'm excited about that. And then this is the last top that's not a sweater. And this is my trusty graphic penguin tee. Got it secondhand online from the Omaha Zoo. It's vintage, I guess, with the penguins that go all the way around. So I love this t-shirt so much that when I saw it in another size, I got it in both the medium and the extra, extra large. So I put the oversized version in this spring capsule, but I also have a more fitted version in my actual, I usually take a size medium in shirts. So like I have one in my actual size and I have that one in the oversized, but I think it'll be really cute over that ice blue skirt, just maybe untucked for kind of a casual look. And of course with the long denim skirts as well, maybe tucked in, but kind of like bagging out a little bit. I just I have visions of how that's going to work. I really, really love that t-shirt. Okay, last category is sweaters. So let's see if we can go through these quickly and get on our way. This is the Jerf Avenue getaway top. It's just like a black lightweight sweater and it's just really easy to wear, really comfortable. I feel stylish in it anyway. I don't actually like wearing black that much because my performance outfits are all black or when I have a gig, I wear all black. So when I wear black in everyday life, it's like, am I on the way to work? I like the split sleeves on this. Anyway, so this is a really easy way to wear black and not feel like I'm dressed up for work because it's kind of easy and casual. This was a piece that I added last minute to the capsule because I didn't want to not be able to wear it, right? So I could probably get away without this, but I wanted to wear this. I wanted to do an outfit with the white shirt, the mini skirt, the cream one with this over. So kind of like an orange, orange creamsicle outfit, maybe with just like some white sneakers and uh, crew socks kind of scrunched down. Uh, I thought that'd be really cute. So I wanted to be able to wear that. So I put this in there. This is a thrifted oversized sweater vest and it's the only orange piece in my wardrobe. I have some sneakers that go really well with it. They got like tiger stripes on them. They're Adidas for the year of the tiger. So I just like pairing those together. This is my first piece, I think, from the brand Cezanne. And it is the Leontine sweater. It still looks really, really great for being purchased like four years ago and being a sweater. It hasn't really pilled at all. I haven't had to depill it or anything. It's got that button front. And I always get a lot of compliments when I wear this. Even though it might not be like color season great on me, I don't actually know. Um, I thought I was like a winter and needed more saturated colors, but I, people seem to like this on me. So maybe I'm whatever color season that this sweater is. I don't know. Or maybe it's just a style thing. Maybe it gives the, gives uh, vibes that complement my personality. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this sweater. It's, I don't think I'm ever going to declutter it. I'm going to try to take really good care of it. This is the Coco cardigan that matches that skirt that I showed really like to wear them together, but I also, this is a really easy piece to wear with pants, with anything over anything. It's a lightweight cotton, and I really like how it feels. The sleeves are really long, almost too long actually, even for me, but it's kind of for the look, like they're supposed to be oversized sleeves, and it just has the one button at the top. So it's kind of, if you like a card cardigan that buttons all the way, it's kind of impractical, but I know that that was like the trending thing when this was released. And I love the cool tone brown color and how easy it is to wear and just the cotton being soft. So this isn't going anywhere either. It's one of my favorite pieces that I wore a lot last year. The last two sweaters are both Ralph Lauren 
thrifted pieces. So I got these both off Mercari, I think. The first one is a gray flat knit sweater. It's from the men's section. And this has been a home run. So I've worn this a ton. It fit while I was pregnant and growing and still fits now. I like the slightly oversized, but not too oversized look. It's a men's medium and it's just super soft and comfortable. So I really love that. And the last one is less soft, but I'm hoping by wearing it, it'll get more and more soft. They're both cotton. This is from the women's section. I think it's a women's extra large to kind of have that same size fit as the men's medium. And this one is a cable knit. So it's a little more feminine. And my husband really likes this sweater. So I'm trying to wear it more because he likes kind of the basic feminine style. Um, nothing too artistic or I don't think he's the biggest fan of the monochrome or anything that's too like sculptural or interesting or oversized. Um, so this is something I'm gonna try to style more for him. To his dismay, I haven't included my skinny jeans or anything like that in this capsule, but it is more for work wear. But I'm really curious to see how I feel about the pieces that I haven't been wearing for the months of spring. I actually put away all of my heavy winter sweaters and the summer clothes that I can't wear unless it's actually hot or they're not work appropriate. So I won't be seeing those for the next few months. And I'm really curious to see what that does. I, like I said, I've never done a capsule wardrobe before. I'm pretty reluctant to actually do one because I don't love the idea mentally of limiting myself from wearing what I have. Like I said, I didn't include shoes and purses because I'm not ready to go that far yet. But after this, I do feel like I have a lot of clothes to play with for the month of spring. So I do feel like this is more than enough at 41 pieces or possibly 42. So I feel like it's enough clothes, but I don't know, something about not being able to wear everything in my closet just didn't sit well with me. So the other caveat is that I didn't include my work wear. So like my performing clothes. So this is all everyday work wear but I didn't include the concert clothes. So concert black, or if I have a show, I might wear one of my fancier tops that is not included in everyday wear because I don't wear it on a daily basis. So work wear as far as performing and active wear, like home only wear is not included here. So anyway, that's all of the pieces of my spring capsule wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed kind of hearing a little bit about why I bought these items, my favorite brands and things like that. Um, I hope to show some of the outfits in a later video, although for a new YouTuber, that's a little more challenging to put together and film. So I'll do my best uh, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs> Last two sweaters are both Ralph Lauren. <laughs>